Hey guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is our quick Nexus 6 hands-on video review. Now, as you all know, the Nexus 6 is finally here. It is available on all carriers in the United States. Now, coming soon, but starting today, November 12th, the brand new Nexus 6 from Google and Motorola can be yours. It's available starting today, the 12th, from T-Mobile and uh, hitting Sprint and uh, AT&T and most carriers in the U.S. here by the end of the month. You've already seen plenty of it already. You've seen plenty of hands-on. Plenty of quick videos of the brand new Nexus 6. So what we wanted to do is show you kind of a little bit more in-depth uh, coverage about this phone, what we like, what we don't like, a little bit about the software, a couple of kind of neat features it can do, show off the speakers. I know a lot of people from our hands-on wanted to hear the video, you know, hear speakers, see video playback on this massive 5.9 inch display, a couple of those things that we couldn't show you in the you know initial hands-on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into a few things we like, a few things we don't, and a look at Android 5.0. First off, we love the display, um, as you all probably knew that was coming. We have a brilliant, bright, big, massive 5.96 inch display. It has a full 2560 by 1440 quad HD resolution. So it's big, it's bright, it's clear. Text is crisp. Uh, you might not be able to see it very good on video, but viewing angles are actually really good. I was kind of impressed. A couple other phones with quad HD displays, like, uh, you know, sorry, the LG G3, just didn't really have the best viewing angles and things washed out fairly quick. It's not a problem here with the Nexus 6. It looks great. Another thing that's awesome is the front-facing speakers. We have dual stereo front-facing speakers. And when I'm playing games or watching Netflix, you can actually, I mean, it, it makes a huge difference. You know, HTC got it right with, the, you know, the HTC One and the One M8. And uh, we're glad Motorola has jumped on board here. The Nexus 6 has great front-facing speakers. They sound good and kind of hearing all those different sounds from each side with games and movies and stuff. It's just it's just a better experience and it's, it's something users are going to love. Uh, not only that, but they've managed to add both of those onto a phone with a 5.9 inch display while keeping it about the same size as smaller devices like the Galaxy Note 4 or that 5.5 inch iPhone 6 Plus. So doing all that while making the phone and not too big is a big plus here. Another thing is battery life, um, without kind of spoiling everything right away. Uh, the Nexus 6 has a good battery life. It's got a big battery too. That's kind of an issue that, you know, all previous Nexuses had an issue with. The Nexus 4, Nexus 5, and don't, don't even get me started on the Galaxy Nexus. They've had poor battery life in the past. Google's kind of had to cut corners with uh, certain things for the price, but uh, that's not the case here. This is a premium smartphone with basically, it's like Google just kind of got together and wanted it the best of everything in one phone and threw it all in there. And uh, that's the Nexus 6. It's expensive, but it is a premium flagship smartphone coming in at $649 for the 32 gigabyte model and $699 for the 64. And uh, it looks like, you know, AT&T and a few carriers will have it for, you know, $249 on contract here in the United States and payment plans and what have you. But you've all seen plenty of the Nexus 6 already. But before we get started, uh, any further, let's kind of go over the specs. Again, we have a 5.96 inch Quad HD display. It's big, it's bright, it's beautiful, and uh, it looks really good. Of course, we have the dual front facing speakers, two megapixel camera on the front, a improved 13 megapixel camera on the rear. This is a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and a dual LED with this ring flash, they call it. Kind of uh, helps with low light and doesn't kind of wash out and kind of just overcompensate with low light and dark situations. So uh, that, it's definitely improved over the Nexus 5. Uh, it might not be the best camera we've used on a smartphone, but it's definitely good. It's definitely good enough and uh, it will get the job done. It does also record in uh, 4K, a uh, little benefit there. But uh, then of course we have a powerful 2.7 gigahertz quad core processor under the hood. We have three gigs of RAM in there for, for smooth multitasking. And uh, all that's topped off with Android 5.0 Lollipop, latest version of Android, which we've, uh, I'm sure you've all seen plenty about and are excited to get. But uh, that's the phone. That's kind of the specs. The bezels aren't too big. You've added all this stuff, front-facing speakers, all into a fairly decent, you know, size. But uh, so now, what do we don't like? Um, there's, there's a lot to like about the Nexus, but there's a, a lot, you know, kind of a couple things not to like. For one, one thing we really do like is the location of the power button. It's kind of right here in an easy to uh, easy to, 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 to grab spot here when you pick up the phone and you want to go ahead and you know, hit power and unlock it and get going. It's fairly easy. But they also added the volume rocker kind of in the same spot below it. It's kind of in the way. I hit it on accident a lot. I actually just did it here on video trying to uh, show you. And uh, we really wish it was over here. Uh, that might be nitpicking, but 
Uh, some manufacturers switch them so they're not on the same side, and we wish that was the case. They're in the way. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it, it does kind of irritate me. When it's on the table and I'm running out the door, you go and grab your phone and run off. I seem to always turn it down all the way on accident, so my, my notifications end up being, you know, put on silent. So uh, that's kind of... Uh, a small thing that's bothered me, but it might not bother others, so that's kind of a, you know, your mileage may vary. It's also really big. It's kind of, you know, it's a big phone. It's hard to reach to the other side here. As you can see, you know, if you have big hands, it won't be an issue. If you've ever used the, the Galaxy Note 3 or the new Note 4, that won't be an issue either because they're about the same size. Like we said, slightly bigger screen, front-facing speakers, all in about the same size package. So that's nice. Um, it's also a little slippery. Uh, I've... It's definitely got a, a good feel to it. It's comfortable and easy to hold. It's got this nice subtle curve. It kind of makes it uh, feel better in the hand and thinner than it really is because it is kind of a, you know, not the thinnest, you know, it's 10 millimeters or so, but it feels really thin, but it's also very slippery. We have the cloud white version here. There's also a midnight blue model that's maybe got a little more texture and slightly easier to hold. The, the white one's a little slippery and a, a, a little smoother than the than the blue version. So that might be to keep you know, some of the texture from getting the white version dirty. But I so, uh, other than that, I mean, the only thing we re I really don't really like is this volume rocker over here and how slippery it is. And of course, you know, the size might be too big for some, but again, that's, you know, to each his own. So we can't really knock that in the review. I love the size. Google said, you know, earlier this month that a, a lot of people, if you use a big phablet, big smartphone like this for more in a week, you know, you're not gonna wanna go back. And uh, I've never really been a tablet user, a phablet user. Uh, phones is big, but I like it. I've been using it for a while here, and it's my daily phone, and uh, it's a good experience, especially with Android 5.0. But more on that, you've seen plenty of Android 5.0 already, so we're not really going to jump into that too much. But we wanted to show you just kind of a couple things. Uh, for one, is this new thing called uh, Ambient Display. Now, there's no notification LED on the Nexus 6, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, you don't know when you got a notification. You don't know when the phone is charging. Nothing lights up like Samsung or some of the other Nexuses. But when you go ahead and grab and pick up the phone, you kind of this lightly dim black and white screen. If you tap, it kind of initiates and fires up. And from here, you can work with your notifications. Swipe down will kind of give you an expanded view. And of course, swipe up will unlock your phone. Nothing from the lock screen, nothing really too new. You can swipe up to unlock. You can swipe over from the side to launch the camera right here. You can see a little camera button that will, that will launch the camera. And if you launch, pull from over here, it'll launch the dialer, which is nice. And as you can see, there's this, all those neat animations and kind of cool effects going on here. Um, everything about Android 5.0 Lollipop is about kind of the material design, smooth animations, neat effects, um, visual no, no, you know, responses when you touch stuff. So when you tap a notification, you kind of see this bubbly kind of thing on screen. Everything's very lively and very very friendly and kind of very actionable. And it's, it's just a really nice experience. Android 5.0 is really impressive. I really do like it. It's a great update here so far from uh, you know, Google. So as you can see here, and you go ahead and tap this, you've kind of got that bubbling effect as it opens and then as it closes. And of course, long press, that will get Google now and you get that kind of neat little animation. But uh, that's just all silly stuff. Then here, of course, we have the brand new multitask menu with Android 5.0 Lollipop right here. Gone is the old system. And now we have this neat like Rolodex card style user interface and it's really good. It makes multitasking really easy. It's very visual. It's very clean. And it's, I mean, as you can see, it's just buttery smooth. Go ahead and pull something up and swipe it away, and it's gone. And uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Definitely a good experience here. But uh, one thing we did want to show that a lot of people asked is uh, how video looks on this massive 5.9 inch display, how sound is, how good those front facing speakers actually are. So uh, let's jump into that real quick, not make this too long. Uh, we downloaded a couple of quick songs. The front facing speakers are, are rather excellent. They get very loud, they're very crisp. Uh, the, the highs are pretty good, mids are decent, lows are of course, you know, only so good it is a phone, there's only so much space, but the sound is, is really good on these front facing speakers. Maybe something a little... a little more obnoxious. We know a lot of people wanted to see that, so we kind of figured a quick look at some uh, 
some audio would do. Maybe show you a video real quick as well. My brother's a big mountain biker, so I got a, a quick video of him doing some mountain biking. But I don't want to get into it too much. Don't bore it with a couple of random videos. But video looks excellent. Audio is excellent. It's a big, bright you know, screen. It just looks really good. So I mean, it's definitely a content consumption device with a big screen like that. Uh, it kind of gives you a lot of options if you can manage the size. So that will be an issue for a lot of people. A lot of buyers in the end are going to, you know, it's all going to come down to if, if this is too big for you. But again, it's available starting today, November 12th, from uh, T-Mobile and a couple other carriers later this week, and eventually all carriers in the you know major carriers in the United States. But uh, we don't want to show you too much. There's full review coming soon of uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop. But that was the brand new Nexus 6. A couple things we like, a couple things we don't. Look at the software and uh, showing off those front-facing speakers. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.